Hi, welcome to SBR Videos. I'm Peter Loshak. We're previewing a week eight in the NFL. We are talking with Joe Duffy from OffshoreInsiders.com, who's hit 17 out of his last 20 football plays. And right now he's going to discuss the Jets and Oakland with us. Uh, Joe Duffy, of course, um, you know, the Jets are coming off of, of the, uh, the Pats game. That's always a huge game for them, no matter who the coach is. And Oakland coming off of uh, their first game off of bye, where they really played well. They got a big win at San Diego uh, as, a, as a road underdog. And the offense is really looking impressive with Crabtree and Cooper uh, and, you know, Carr being good enough and kind of growing and improving incrementally each year and each game. The line has moved in the Jets' favor, though, recently. And I saw it opened at, like, Jets minus 2.5, got bet down to pick them. Now it's back up to Jets minus 1.5 or 2. So that's significant U-shaped movement. I think I'm actually leaning towards the over here. Right now the total market-wide is mostly 44. There are some 44 and a halfs. My sense is that as good as the Jets' defense is, uh, that passing game that Oakland has should be reasonably productive and that uh, the Jets also have weapons in their receiving core as well. Not a huge total. I think maybe the best play here might be the over 44. What do you think, Joe? Uh, well, Peter, I, I do think that the best play will actually be the home team, the Raiders. Mm -hmm. Look, uh, you sort of alluded to it, but... In the past few years, one of the reasons that I've improved, I've really started to weigh situational handicapping a little bit more. Now, I'll grant you situational handicapping is even stronger in college sports than it is in professional sports, but it still is, is pretty big in uh, pro football as well. And as you said, the Jets, they played their big statement game last week uh, at New England, and now... But, you know, they, they came up short. They, they yeah. came up short. They had a chance to say we are a legitimate Super Bowl contender, that their 4-1 and one record, which it was at the time, is 100% for real. Now they got to travel all the way across country against a dangerous team for all the reasons you stated. You know, they have a veteran wide receiver, a, a rookie wide receiver who is a heck of a player, and then a second-year quarterback who's got an upside. Oakland is a very dangerous team, and perhaps most importantly, this is just – I mean, if this is not a nice spot play, if this is not a very tough scheduling situation for the Jets, then you'll never see one. So I do think that the uh, the line movement here is wrong, and I will go with the Raiders. All right. Well, as I said, the line movement has been kind of two-way. We'll see where this one closes, and uh, I'm going to ask uh, Brent from BetDSI later on in the week what's caused this line movement. It's definitely U-shaped, though. The initial line movement did favor Oakland, and then the recent line movement mm -hmm. favored the Jets. So one of those, that could be two-way sharp action, or it could be uh, the public betting the Jets and early sharp action on Oakland. All right, so do you want to go official with, uh, with Oakland as a uh, home underdog? Right now the line is plus one and a half or two. I, I will officially go with them. And I also like, you know, remember I say you cannot manufacture emotion. And, uh, you know, the, and in fact, maybe I'll even read it verbatim from the uh, Oakland paper. They said this matchup, well, I'll skip a little bit. They say it's going to be the closest you've had to a playoff atmosphere in Oakland since they closed out the 2011 season. And I agree with that. I mean, this is a, a pretty big game for Oakland. Tough spot for the Jets. So, yes, I will go official with the home underdog. Okay, currently Oakland plus two is the line. Joe Duffy, tell us a little bit more about your uh, recent phenomenal success uh, at your website, offshoreinsiders.com. 17 Yeah, that's true, because anyone who cares about long-term success, they're already getting my picks at offshoreinsiders.com. 17 and three football runs, 17 and three overall. Most of those are overlapping, but not all of them. Hit all 10 of my college football plays last week. You want to go back further, 17 and four college football. Humongous weekend already up in college and pro football. Visit offshoreinsiders.com. I am literally having the greatest college and NFL season ever recorded by anybody. All right. That's not figuratively. That's literally having that kind of a season. Thanks so much, Joe.